If I tell you that drinking bleach can prevent coronavirus, would you go for it? With some common sense, you are not going to listen to my advice. But unfortunately, a lot of the time, it's not as easy to tell if the advice is good or not. And here's a million dollars question. When should we listen to advice and when we shouldn't? Hello everyone, my name is Keith So I create content about career empowerment for young professionals. If you find my video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe and click the notification bell. I was really confused back then and I believe this is quite a dilemma for many people. Some said you should listen to other people's advices because they can see things from a different perspective so they can see the underlying problem. Some said you shouldn't be listening to other people's advice because they, they are not you. They don't know how you feel and what works for them probably doesn't work for you. So their advice is probably not too applicable. So what should we do? The rule of thumb obviously is to take the helpful advice and ignore the bad ones but of course it's easier said than done. So in this video I'm going to share a few tips on how you can be selective on taking advices so that you can fast track your success. Before you decide whether to listen to other people's advice or not you should always remember that you take advice for the sake of yourself. It might seem like common sense to you but a lot of time we take advice because of peer pressure. I'll give you a typical example. A child who dreamed of being an actor, being an artist, or whatever professions is hard to make ends meet. And they are forced to give up their dreams and their passions because their parents don't like it. They say it's not realistic. You are not going to make money from it. Just go to university get a real job, start from there, just stop being, being foolish, stop being unrealistic. And you know what, a lot of the time, the child just followed their parents advice because they don't want to disappoint them. So they went to university, they got a proper job and they climbed the corporate ladder. Now people might perceive them as successful but they are probably miserable in their heart because what they're doing is not really what they want to do. We don't like to disappoint others, especially the one we love. But as cliche as we sound, this is your life. You are living your life so you get to make all sorts of decisions all for yourself. You are not obligated to follow other people's advice. Surely, they have the right to give advice but also you have the right to decide whether to follow or not, right? So always remember, you are following advice because you genuinely think this advice is going to help. Another tips I want to give you is don't rush. Whenever you get a piece of advice, you don't really have to make the decision on the spot. You can just take your time. Just think through it. You, you can decline wherever you want. You, you can probably give up on the midway or even decide how dedicated you should be. Definitely slow down pace. Take your time and ask a bunch of questions about the advice itself. So for instance, you should ask stuff like, hey, um, is that advice really applicable for me? What are the pros and cons? Is it advice out of dated? So you see a lot of time the parents used to give like outdated advice. It might work for them back in, I don't know, like 50 years ago, but probably not right now. They should probably say stuff like, you should study hard, great, everything. This might be true in their time, but not right now. So I would suggest you to be really objective and um, just analyze it. And you also want to consider what are the consequences? What's going to happen if you follow? What's going to happen if you don't? Are there any drawbacks in doing that? Is it reversible? If it is, then great. It's no big deal. If you fail, you can always just go back to the original states. I would say try to convince yourself first by asking a bunch of questions. If you're not happy with most of the answers, then chances are this is not a good advice for you. And of course, you can just move on and do something else. Now, apart from the advice itself, it's also important to consider who's the person that give the advice. Now, of course, you want to listen to advice from someone who's more trustworthy, someone that has definitely achieved success previously by doing what they've been doing. And another thing is you want to make sure the advisor has the best interest in you. So either they're really close with you or you have paid them so they want to see you to become successful and of course most importantly have you been listening to their advice before and achieve some certain success if their advice has worked previously then i'll pay more credit to them so you see 
if you see the advice is more trustworthy, then I'll be more inclined to follow. And as I said earlier, forget about their feelings. You are the one that's responsible for your life, so don't feel you are obligated to listen to them, even they might be some authority or something else. If you find it doesn't work for you, just don't bother. So you might have already done your investigation, but you are still unsure whether to listen to their advice or not. In that case, what you should be doing is to listen to your gut. Trust your instinct. This is actually the most reliable act that you can take. Well, a lot of time our gut instinct are actually quite accurate. If it doesn't work, it's okay, you learn from it. And it's a lot better than regretting for not following, right? Trust your gut feeling and nothing's wrong with it. Now in conclusion, whenever we feel stuck in our life, we tend to ask for other people's advice. And you see, sometimes their advice might be helpful for us, sometimes they are probably not realistic, not applicable for us. And it's definitely an art to decide whether to follow or just ignore it. So a quick summary here is, you should always remember that you're taking the advice for the sake of yourself. Don't be afraid that you might be offending others for not listening. You should slow down and analyze the advice yourself. You should think thoroughly. If that advice is going to be helpful for you, is that realistic? Is that advice timely? Is it up to date? And what are the consequences? And of course, also take note on who's the one who gives the advice. If it's someone that's dodgy, who has a bad reputation, I wouldn't listen to them. And lastly, sometimes it's not that easy to make the decision. Sometimes it's hard to tell if the advice is good or not. In that case, just listen to your gut. Your instinct is a lot more powerful than you think. And this is it. I hope this video is helpful for you because if you can listen to good advice all the time then your life will be a lot more smoother and you can achieve success a lot faster and also just letting you know that I have launched my coaching program very recently if you want to find out more book a 30 minutes clarity core sessions with me in the description below and that's pretty much about it I'll see you again next week signing off